Well, hello and a warm welcome to our continuing coverage of the WSL as we bring you Aston Villa's final game of the season here at the Best Scott Stadium. It is a Midlands derby against Leicester. It's coming up to 12.30 in the afternoon local time, 12 degrees Celsius. We are all set for this one. Both sides pretty much ensconced in mid-table. A European place impossible for either relegation improbable. It is local bragging rights that are up for grabs this afternoon. Leicester perhaps also with one eye on their first ever women's FA Cup semi-final. That match against Tottenham looming large. It is their next fixture in a fortnight's time. Let's take a look at the two starting lineups for you then, starting with Aston Villa. Carla Ward has won all five of her previous WSL matches against Leicester. She makes two changes to the side, which lost 3-1 to Arsenal last time out. Captain Rachel Corsi returns in defence, while Alicia Lehman is also recalled. Top scorer Rachel Daly leads the line. She has scored in each of her three previous WSL games against Leicester. Let's take a look at the visitors' lineup. Jennifer Foster is in charge of Leicester for this one after Willie Kirk was sacked this week for breaching the club's code of conduct. Foster makes three changes to the 11, which started the defeat to Brighton last time out. But Takarada and Peterman come in. Yuta Rantala is one goal shy of double figures for the season in all competitions. Jane Sims is the referee for this one. She was actually in charge of this fixture last season when Aston Villa ran out 5-0 winners. How they would appreciate a repeat this afternoon. The two captains are Rachel Corsi and Sam Tierney. Aston Villa have such a good record against Leicester. Can they maintain it here this afternoon? Aston Villa, the home side, coming into this one seventh in the table, three points above Leicester. As I say, they are firmly ensconced really in mid table. Leicester, three points below Aston Villa, down in ninth. They are ten points clear of the drop zone. 10 points clear of bottom club Bristol City. Well, it will be Leicester in their third kit who will get proceedings underway here at Bescott Stadium in Walsall for this Barclays Women's Super League fixture. Leicester in the yellow, attacking the goal away to our right-hand side as we look on. No room for discrimination in the women's game. Both sides take the knee. Aston Villa in their familiar claret and blue will be attacking the goal away to our right-hand side. And immediately that is out for a throw-in to the home side. It's going to be taken by Maritz, a Swiss defender. There's another throw-in for Carla Ward's side. And Villa winning the reverse fixture 1 0. The uh, Pirelli, Pirelli Stadium and Burton Rachel Daly with the only goal of the game when these two sides met earlier on in the season. A new era then for Leicester. They're looking to make a bright start. Fist across the face of goal, and that's been put behind for the first corner. Anna Patton sliding in, doing her defensive duties. On the week that it was announced, the 24-year-old will represent the Republic of Ireland at international level, even though she was an England under-21 international. Patton has put that behind for the first corner of the match. It goes the way of the visitors. Rantala is over to take. The 24-year-old from Finland. It's one from the training ground, a slightly better angle. She gets the return. Not cleared by Villa. Patton hits the deck and the whistle goes for a free kick. Well, Leicester coming into this one, they are three without a win. 
They've just got one win in their last four matches in all competitions. That was against Liverpool in the FA Cup. They put themselves a place in the semi-finals. They will take on Tottenham in two weeks' time. A big moment in the history of Leicester City's women's team. Never before have they reached this stage of the FA Cup. The semi-finals will be dominating the agenda for Jennifer Foster and Stephen Kirby, who are in charge of Leicester City for now, following Willie Kirk's departure this week. Villa over the halfway line for the first time. Here's Darley out to Alicia Lehman, back in the starting lineup. She keeps that one in. Wants the free kick. James Sims says no foul and it's picked up by Daly. Fancy footwork by the England international. There's a shot from distance, watched wide by Alicia Kopp in the Leicester goal. Turned 26 earlier this month. Arrived in the summer from Ajax. Still no Janina Leipzig in the matchday squad for Leicester. Leipzig hasn't played in the last six matches now. Since an FA Cup win against Birmingham, so it's an opportunity for Kopp in goal for Leicester to try and stake her claim for the number one jersey. Howard has been given space to run into. Leicester up over the halfway line. Looking for Deanne Rose in behind. It's been left for Cayman. Here is Howard. Calls kindly for Cayman, who just overruns it. Moritz to take the throw for Aston Villa. Aston Villa have a pretty terrible home record this season. Just one win in 11 home matches throughout the course of this campaign. Carla Warren admitting that she is at a loss to explain why the home form has been worse than the away form. Lost 3-1 at home to Arsenal in their last out and they did actually take the lead in that match. Is Howard, the 30 year old from Scotland, actually born in Germany. Howard again. Held up by Peterman, who was back in the starting lineup, the uh, German. Leading the line for Leicester City, the visitors this afternoon. Daly, Corsi, Mitchell Corsi again, Patton, Daly knocks it down, Daniel Turner with the throw. Corsi. Back to an elite who's in goal for Aston Villa. 22 year old from New Zealand. Elite a long way out of her goal. They're defending 
really rather deeply Leicester numbers behind the ball looking to uh, frustrate Aston Villa Patton goes backwards again to Leet sign from West Ham of course he's the captain Darley Leet again Patton in the Midland sunshine Leon Daly keeping the ball well here the home side Mitchell Daly just overplaying that one Rachel Daly number nine for Aston Villa leading the line she has scored in all three of her previous WSL matches against Leicester as I mentioned including the winner in the reverse fixture Leicester will have to try and keep her quiet this afternoon and she has the ball now testing cop it's the first real save that cop has had to make she was equal to it comfortable height was a long way out daily lining that one up i think it was probably just off target but cop had to make sure layman Darley. Layman with plenty of space to line up the cross towards the far post. Another save by Cop. Leicester cannot get it clear. A double save by Leisha Cop. Good reactions, brave goalkeeping as well. Look at the time and the space that Lehman had to line this one up. She stood it up towards the far post, headed across the face of goal. Cop was equal to the first one and the second one, and then she had to get down low. And that's the brave bit at the feet of Jordan Nobbs. Bright start, though, by Aston Villa inside the opening uh, 10 minutes. And Alicia Cott, the busier of the two keepers. Green. Afforded space to run into. Here is Bot. Oh, just miscommunication between Bot and Rantala. Rantala had checked her run, but thought she was continuing her run. Catherine CJ Bott will be hoping to get the better of her Kiwi counterpart and elite. Here is Leet, both of the players from New Zealand. Is uh, bot in fact, she leaves it for green. Rantala back to bot. Bot who actually played at the Women's World Cup, a home World Cup, of course, for New Zealand. Scored in the game against Vietnam. Proud moment for her. Here is Howard. Route one, Rose in behind. Falls kindly for Rose. She sees her effort blocked. The flag was up for offside.
Daly. Intercepted by Rose. Appeals for offside. The flag goes up. Two coaches for this one, Carla Ward and Jennifer Foster know each other well. They work together at Birmingham. Foster saying that uh, after the defeat to Brighton last time out, she's in disbelief that they lost that game. Leicester going down 3-2 at home to Brighton and Hove Albion in their last WSL match. This is the fourth match that Foster has been in charge. Initially, Willie Kirk was suspended before his sacking this week, breaching the club's code of conduct. Foster and Kirby will be in charge for the remainder of the season before the club in the summer decide on a longer term strategy. Here's Peterman given away to her fellow number nine, Rachel Daly. And Daly has plenty of space to utilise up and over the halfway line. Lehman forced wide. Santini will give chase, but Turner works it back to Leet. of an hour played. Leicester haven't really yet tested an elite in the Aston Villa goal. Alicia Kopp has been called into action a couple of times. Villa with the better of the starts but relatively even. There's the home side marauding forward now with Moritz. It's good football. Leon Slaloming her way through the defence, Sophie Howard checks her run and finds Rose. Rose is marauding forward now. She's agriculturally hacked down by Rachel Corsi. That might be the first booking early on. It is. Rachel Corsi, the 34-year-old, capped more than 100 times by Scotland. Defending to do then for Aston Villa. <laughs> Howard to take. Hasn't got much of an angle to work with. Goes to Mumika. And the two Japanese players in the starting lineup for Leicester and Takarada, the second of those players, gives it away. Tierney. 
And Mika to Rowe, slightly heavy touch. She shows too much of it to Moritz, who puts it behind for a corner. Peterman over to take. Back in the international fold after a three-year absence. Back in the German squad. From the Montpellier forward. Takes the set piece. Bot. This year it's Leicester City in the FA Cup semi-finals. This time 12 months ago, it was Aston Villa. Oh, that bobbled. That was a rather awkward one for the league to deal with. Leon. Back to goal. Forced across to Corsi. Leicester backpedalling at the moment. Corsi. It's a searching ball, but neither Turner nor Lehman will be able to get on the end of that one. Here, Aston Villa losing in the FA Cup semi finals to Chelsea by a goal to nil. This time last year, Leicester take on Tottenham in two weekends' time in the semi-finals. Neither of those clubs have been in the final before. So we will have a first-time FA Cup finalist this year. Leicester very much hoping it is them. Jennifer Foster insisting no distractions, though, and they are fully focused on this one here this afternoon. Anticipation and excitement set to build over the next fortnight. Here's Rose. Howard. Green. Rose will give chase. Patton should tidy up. And a Patton who signed permanently after a loan from Arsenal. In the heart of that defence for Aston Villa. Darley. Corsi. Sam Tierney. Solitary figure trying to apply the press. alert Corsi and 
a heavy touch. One back in a dangerous position. Brantala up against Turner. Strong challenge from Danielle Turner. 15 years at Everton, she was the captain there for five seasons. 32 year old. even contest so far certainly in terms of possession oh look at the space is she gonna have the pace to keep it in flag stays down stood up towards the far post by knobs There was an abundance of space for Aston Villa to try and exploit then. They were unable to capitalise on the situation. But Leicester were well out of position on that occasion. Turner takes it quickly, too quickly. Well, Aston Villa finished fifth last season, ten points behind Arsenal in third. They're almost 20, beh 20 points behind Arsenal in third this season. As Lehman goes into the book. Been unable really to, to build on a decent season last season, Aston Villa. Maybe it has been somewhat of a step backwards. The competition, of course, getting tougher each and every year. Daily to Darley. Nobs. Corsi. Zadali, former Everton and West Ham midfielder. Off she goes. Dangerous ball in, and that's the opening goal. Just like that, Aston Villa take the lead. Lurking dangerously at the far post. She wasn't going to miss from there. Nothing Leisha Kopp could do about that close range finish. Kenza Dali with the surging run. And she was able to find the space. And then find the back of the net. Adriana Leon, the Canadian, with her seventh goal of the season in all competitions. Midway through the first half, it is Aston Villa who strike first. Well, she's got a goal and an assist in her last two matches for club and country. The former West Ham and Manchester United forward on target here. And Aston Villa's impressive record against Leicester City looks set to continue.
no free kick. Rose comes away with it. Green. Back to Cop. Joseph Green signed after six years at Tottenham, continuing her run forward. Nobbs, Darley, whose powerful run led to the opening goal. Bot. Just asks too much of Rantala. Jutta Rantala got both the goals in the FA Cup win against Liverpool. That famous 2-0 victory in the quarter-finals. There's a chance for Leicester to try and make an immediate response, and they do! Yuka Momika finds the bottom corner, and Leicester were not behind for long. It's only her second goal of the season in all competitions. Yuka Momika with the composure to send an elite the wrong way. The goalkeeper was wrong footed. A decent finish, and we are all square. Momika, who got an assist last time out in the defeat against Brighton, is on the score sheet in this one. Corsi. There is a, one other match taking place in the WSL today at 12.30, Liverpool against Manchester City. Keep you updated with that one. Manchester City already 3-0 up in that one. Cut out by Rose. Corsi. Is that going to be a free kick? James Sim says no. Villa coming forward with the goal scorer Leon. Dispossessed by Howard. He comes away with it. Rose. Green. Howard again. Bring it, bring it. So 
Josie Green. Asking quite a lot of bot up against Turner. Bot gets there, then takes the tumble. No foul, according to the officials. Aston Villa have a pretty decent record in Midland derbies against the likes of Leicester and Birmingham. They've won six of their last seven. Fair challenge. Moritz to take. Former Arsenal and Wolfsburg Swiss defender, won five Bundesliga titles in her time at Wolfsburg. Made her debut for Switzerland 11 years ago now. Nicely done. Peterman giving chase, just too much on it. Crossed in. Tierney. Here's a chance. Hooked wide. Still not fully clear and blazed over, and somehow Aston Villa survive. Well, there were a couple of shots here, that was good composure, and this should have been 2-1. It was just hooked onto the post by Rantala, trying to find that bottom corner. to the final 10 minutes of the first half. It's a set-piece opportunity for the home side. Chance to try and commit some claret and blue shirts forward and pose some questions of this Leicester City defence. Zadali towards the far post, back into the danger zone. Howard gets there, hook clear by Rantala. Lehman. Daly feeds it through to Lehman. That's a really strong, perfectly timed challenge. No, 
Nobbs. Uh, of course, he loses out. Rose will give chase, and Leet has to say to stay in her goal, but the flag is up. Deanna Rose was in behind, but she just missed timed her run. Last season, Leicester City finished 10th. They were five points clear of the uh, bottom club, Reading. Currently 10 points clear of Bristol City, this season's bottom club, and in the FA Cup semi-final. So, fair to say that this season has been a step in the right direction for Leicester City. Turner. Lovely through ball. Alert goalkeeping by Cop. Touched, capped five times by the Netherlands. Leisha Cop. Well, that was a good tackle. Daly, I think it was, sliding in. Villa forced backwards, but they retain possession with Corsi. Lehman. Daly. Turner on the overlap. Daly doesn't use her. Does eventually. Turner up against Bott. Turner looking for options. Bailey in some discomfort. And receive some treatment now, Rachel Daly. Fourteen goals in all competitions this season. In twenty-two appearances now. Signed from Houston Dash after six years playing in the USA was part of that successful Lionesses squad that won the Euros a couple of years ago. Scored two and two for England last month against Italy and Austria. An opportunity for Carla Ward to give her side some tactical instructions. Carla Ward who took Sheffield United to second in the championship four years ago, did Birmingham to survival, despite plenty of off-field issues before getting the Aston Villa job. Well, let's take a look at how things stand then, five minutes before half-time. 1-1 one, one the score. These are the goals. Aston Villa striking first in the 25th minute. Darley with the surging run. And then the low ball in across the face of goal, finding Leon, who made it 1-0 to the home side. Adriana Leon putting Villa ahead. But then just a few minutes later, Leicester levelled. And it was Yuka Momika. We found the bottom corner. 1-1 one, one the score. Turner under pressure from Grantala. Bot will take the throw. Rantala. 
Rachel Daly, who is back on the field of play, having received treatment, she's okay to continue. Turner with the throw. Leicester City turning professional in 2020. They won the championship in 2021. They've had four promotions since 2014. They actually lost a bid to join the inaugural WSL season. Space in that middle third. Strong surging run from Nobbs. Lehman forced wide. Dali. Turner. Patton. Lehman found by Dali. Can't pick out a teammate. Falls kindly though for Villa in the shape of Nobbs. Daly drags it wide. No ill effects from the injury she picked up a couple of moments ago, Rachel Daly. Second long range effort she's had in this first half. Green, Cop, Howard, and this is nicely worked, slightly heavy touch, forces Rantala to overrun the ball, but it was a decent build-up by Leicester. Just that final ball lacking, asking far too much of Jutta Rantala. As we tick over the 45-minute mark. Three minutes added on at the end of the first 45. We're into it now. Corsi. Patton. Well, these two sides are pretty close to each other in the WSL standings, and it's been a pretty even first 45 minutes as well. Not too much separating them. You probably have to say that Aston Villa have shaded it in terms of opportunities, but Leicester certainly have had a decent couple of chances themselves and won the score. It's perfectly poised in the balance.
Villa looking to build from the back with a bobbly surface. That's a bold move. They get away with it as Lisa Lehman takes a tumble. Mitchell Daly back helping out the defence. Darley has also dropped deep. She does well, the French midfielder. Skips away from the challenge of Green, who's now out of position. Salmon. Wins the corner, and there will just about be time for Aston Villa to take it. Probably the final act of the first half. Defending to do for Leicester. to the near post and easily cleared by Leicester. Moritz, still we play. Aston Villa want a penalty late on in stoppage time. Jane Sims waves away the protestations. And that is the final act of the first 45 minutes. The Aston Villa fans feel that they should have had a chance from 12 yards. As it is, 1-1 the score. It was Adriana Leon who put the home side ahead after 25 minutes, a close range finish, before Yuka Momika, which is her second goal of the season for Leicester, levelled with a fine finish into the bottom corner. Half time in this one then, it is Aston Villa one, Leicester City one. Well, let's take a look at the first half highlights then and how the first 45 unfolded. Rachel Daly with the first real effort, stinging the gloves of Leisha Kopp from a long-range effort. Then there was a double save by Kopp, not that one, that one and that one. Three, in fact, from the uh, Dutch goalkeeper, keeping Aston Villa at bay. The opening goal came in the 25th minute. It was Adriana Leon lurking at the far post to convert from close range. Kopp got a touch, but she couldn't keep it out. Aston Villa had the advantage. But they had the advantage for a matter of moments because Leicester levelled just a few minutes later. Yuka Momika finding the bottom corner. And that is how it stands then at half-time. Perfectly poised for the second 45 because although Leicester had a chance, they couldn't take it. Rantala hitting the woodwork. Meaning it is 1-1 at the break. It is perfectly poised. We will be back for full second half coverage of Aston Villa against Leicester. 1-1 at half-time. Are the rest of the girls fans of dubs then? Are they not, not feeling it? I think they were you? fans before they heard my rendition of it. <laughs> <laughs> you and, turned and, them off. Yeah, and now, now it's not me, so. Right, we have got five songs that you have chosen here that we're going to go through. A little, little bit of a mix yeah. that we have here. We're going to start off strong with some dubs. Girls, talk me through this one. Why did you choose this one? I've always loved it, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, I know the rap, or, or all of the rap, and yeah, I just a song that I like, enjoy, yeah. and I'm very hyped after it, so much to the annoyance of the ears of everybody else, probably. Um, but yeah, no, I just love the song. I've seen them live in November. Um, yeah, yeah, and yeah. A little reunion tour. Good, yeah, that, no, yeah. it's a good, good concert, so yeah, blast from the past. Are the rest of the girls fans of dubs then? Are they not, not feeling it? I think they were fans before they heard my rendition of it. <laughs> you <laughs> and, turned and, them off. Yeah, <laughs> and now, now it's not me, so uh, I'm off the music. You're off the music, you're not <laughs> yeah. allowed anymore, fair enough. Next we've got Afterglow, bit of Wilkinson, Becky Hill. What are you feeling about that one? Yeah, just ultimate hype song for me. Yeah. Um, I actually seen it live this summer. Um, it's up there with 
girls for, for my talk yeah, songs. Yeah. It was a tough choice. So yeah, I seen it live and it was just unbelievable. Um, listen to it before every game, get it on in the changing room and it's one yeah. that, that we all love and I think it builds up nicely and yeah, then we head out pumped ready to go. And then next we've got, I'm guessing Scottish roots here, <laughs> Jerry Cinnamon, Canto in particular. Tell me about this one. Yeah, Jerry's from like 10, 15 minutes up the road from yeah, me. Yeah. Um, I think everybody in Glasgow thinks they sound like Jerry Cinnamon when they sing. <laughs> um, we probably don't, but... You definitely do. You definitely do yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can say uh, that. <laughs> yeah, no, just again, it's, it's a hype song. It reminds me of, obviously, living away from home. It reminds me of family, friends, wherever you go in Scotland. Yeah. You, you hear it, and whenever you're speaking about music out with Scotland, somebody brings it up. So, yeah, yeah uh, he's doing class, to be fair. We listen to it before national team games. It's always on when we're warming up. So, yeah, absolute anthem. Uh, and then next, another belter. Actually, the last two are proper belters, which I love. And this one yeah. is an anthem now. Natasha Bedingfield, Unwritten. Is this one you've been listening to for a while? Do you know what? I've actually not listened to it since very, like, soon after we got promoted. It was our sort of song the full of last season. Whenever we won a game, we'd all be in changing room, it'd be blasting, we'd all yeah. be up singing in a circle. Um, and it got us through the season. Um, we obviously sang it. I sang it quite loud in front of the fans and the mic was turned off after the second line. So, um, yeah, it's just got the best memories of, of promotion party. Um, so I think it's... It's nice to hear now, but I don't think I'll ever beat that moment of, yeah, of the promotion. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. just best day of my life. So it comes with fond memories, great friends, great staff, and all my family were down there on promotion day. So as I say, one of the best days of my life and a top song. It's a top song. It's also because it's like such a pop song, but now I feel like it's a hype song as well. Yeah. But when you listen to it and you're singing it, everyone's like acting like it's a rap song. Absolutely. Like Absolutely. Especially it. as it gets into it as well. And you know, you've got the clap, you've got your arms in the yeah. air, and there was good footage of us doing it, all staff, all players in the changing room after promotion. Um, and we actually got a follow from, from the artist herself after Ooh. it. So, uh, yeah, no, we're, we're buzzing with it. Don't be that. And then talking of belting out songs, <laughs> I think I heard a bit actually yeah. <laughs> before you came on here. We got Carrie Underwood before he cheats. Possibly one of my favourite country songs, but yeah. just favourite songs yeah. in the world. Is this one that you belt out? Yeah, it is an absolute better. It would have been my first song in the morning. Um, yeah, got to warm up to it, but yeah, yeah, absolutely intense. But yeah, karaoke song. I think it's one that even people that don't like country know and enjoy. And even if they're singing the wrong words, it's it's being screamed at and it's loud. So yeah, it's a bit of me. Um, and yeah, I just love it. I say you can sing it at the top of your voice. Have you done this one on karaoke before then? Yeah, I have done it on yeah. karaoke, yeah. yeah. I've done it on karaoke, I've done it more times just in the car on my own, absolutely yeah. screaming. So Fair enough. when I pull up at lights, it's not the best one to be belting out next to the people next to you. You get one of those where you're pulled up and you go to the <laughs> side and you just see like people looking yeah. in being like... Yeah, no, I've had a few of them, especially at the chorus. It's, it's probably a sight, but uh, yeah, I absolutely love it. And then if we were to choose any of these songs to hype everyone up before a game, what are you choosing? Out of those songs, Out I'd need to songs. go Afterglow. Um, yeah. I think it's the best sort of like changing room song. As I say, everyone on the team likes it. It builds up and yeah, it just gets everyone going. What one are you putting on if you've got the three points in the bag? You, is it going to be unwritten again this season or do you think you're going to have to switch it up? No, I, do you know what? I think switch it up. I think last yeah. season was just protect it at all costs, leave it, don't yeah. try and sort of drag that on. So. I don't know, one I would put out there, Life is a Highway. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I think that's one that everybody knows. It does gear you up, be good after the win. Yeah. So I'd throw that into the mix, but good decision. Well, thank you for your choices. <laughs> thank good you mix. very much. Appreciate it talking, and hopefully I'll hear a bit of Carry On The Woods soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm out, sure you will. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for me. Cheers. Different from the rest. <laughs> Diamonds on a finger, that's not that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> So if we start with Kings of Leon, is it milk in particular? Yeah. Talk me through this one. Are you a big Kings of Leon fan in general? I feel like just in general my music can go from one extreme to another. I right. like so much <laughs> different stuff. But with Kings of Leon, like in the car with my parents and stuff, I think yeah. I've always had these type of music played and milk for me, just the way it starts slow and then it gets upbeat. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Are you like a big fan of kind of like indie bands? Is that the sort of thing you listen to or is it does it when I'm driving, I'd say I listen to like indie stuff, and okay. but it, I mean it can go from indie to something else. Yeah. It just depends <laughs> on the mood, really. And what about in the changing rooms? Uh, people have got similar kind of 
taste to you or does it vary massively? Yeah, I think some of the girls are similar to me, but yeah. before a game we like a bit of house music. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And I love that as well, so it's, yeah. it's mad. So maybe like Kings of Leon, when you're in the car driving to the training, yeah. then once you're with the girls, girls it's house music. House. Yeah. <laughs> and then if we go for a classic, we've got Pink Floyd here. Is that a band that you grew up on? Yeah, growing yeah. up, loved them. And there was, I remember they done like collectors' items, and me and my cousins were trying to collect all the stuff. I think <laughs> it's just what our parents and stuff were listening yeah, to. Yeah, we used yeah. to have a DVD, like a CD thing, yeah, sorry, yeah. and it'd just be playing all the time when my mum's yeah. cooking and stuff. And yeah. I think that's just who I am, the way I've been brought up. Yeah, yeah. Any songs in particular when you were growing up that would be played around the house for Pink Floyd? The Wall. Yeah. I can't like think. I just love them all. Yeah. Now, slight change as we go from Pink Floyd to someone polar opposite to Pink Floyd. We've got Justin Bieber here. Is it You Smile? Was that, is that yeah. the one? So, growing up, I was a big believer. <laughs> We've had a few of them. Yeah. You're not the only one. You're um, not the only one. When he used to do his tours, so he yeah. went on tour twice around the UK, and I went to Liverpool, Manchester, and Birmingham every the two times. So, I've seen Wait, him live six times. You did three times? The He's... same tour. So, I've seen him six times, but two different tours. <laughs> I used well, to be obsessed. So, your, your family who were playing you Pink Floyd, trying to give you that sort of education, and you're going, I need to see Justin Bieber three times here. What, what was their reaction to that? <laughs> I think I just love music and yeah. I have since I was a kid and yeah. whatever made me happy my parents would be up yeah, for yeah, it yeah. Um, and Justin Bieber <laughs> I used to love him. Do you still like have a cheeky little listen to some of his old stuff? Yeah I still yeah. play it I reckon once or twice a week. Yeah. <laughs> That's quite a lot of you. I like that. Any, is it You Smile or any other songs as well? I like all of them again. Mm -hmm. Fair. <laughs> and then again switching it up Jerry Cinema. We've had a few people say Jerry Cinema actually. Mainly Scottish, but yeah, talk me through Jerry Cinnamon. I just like it's upbeat and yeah. that it's a sing song, but it's upbeat and I think it can get you like going and ready. Yeah. But also, like, my little cousin's a massive fan of him, Aww. and we went to see him when he was in Manchester and spending time with my family. Like, I was obsessed with music, and now my younger cousins are. And yeah. I took him, and it was his first concert, and he knew every single word to every song at yeah. 11, and it's like, wow, I'm impressive. producing my prodigy of me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Take him under your yeah. wing, yeah, yeah. But, no, I think his music's great and yeah. it can be in a concert or festival, whatever, it suits everyone, I think. Yeah, it sounds like it's like a real sing-along one, mm -hmm. like, if you know everyone is up there yeah. singing, right? And then, it sounds like you've been to a lot of like live concerts, is that something you like to do when you've yeah, been Yeah, in my spare time, I yeah. think I like going and seeing people live, I think it's different. Yeah. You get to see the personality more and yeah. I enjoy it, get yeah. you out the house. What's your favourite concert you've been to in recent years, would you say? Um, I went to Kings of Leon recently and they were good, I really yeah, enjoyed yeah, them. Yeah, they would be amazing live. And then we finish it off with France and the Machine. Is it Hunger particularly? Yeah. Yeah, why this one? Hunger's my favourite song, I think just the lyrics to it, it's nice and chilled and I think just from the young girl, I don't know the reason behind it, I've just loved the words yeah, to it and yeah. the way the song goes and I listen to it all the time and don't get bored of listening to yeah. it. I can <laughs> listen to it on repeat and still sing every single word to yeah. it. I just think Florence is amazing. When I went to see her live. You've she, seen everyone live. <laughs> she comes across dead slow yeah, yeah, on yeah, yeah, Spotify yeah. or yeah. whatever but then Live, stage, she's up yeah. and wild, yeah, and yeah. that shocked me to be honest. <laughs> and then, out of these five, what one would you play to kind of get everyone going before a game? Would you say probably Jerry Cinnamon? Yeah, are they Liverpool girls? Are they, are they feeling a bit Jerry Cinnamon? Are they, yeah, I they... think the majority, but you can't please everyone, <laughs> can you? <laughs> and then, what about you've just won a game, three points in the bag, which one are you choosing to celebrate um, with? Could be Justin Bieber, you know. Yeah. I think everyone knows the lyrics. They might pretend yeah. they don't like them, but do. you they can't not sing secretly. along. <laughs> yeah. And then to see it out, you could choose one song. If, if you want to, you can say no, but it sounds like you're confident. Just give me one line of yeah. any of these songs, what would it be? Um. <laughs> I heard a bit of Jerry Cinnamon before. A bit, a bit of the accent coming out. She as well. is a filter. There Different from the rest. <laughs> Diamonds on a finger. That's enough. That's it. That's it. That's better than most people have done. So I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you for your choices and cheers for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Hi, I'm Leanne Kiernan, and this is my ultimate five aside. Uh, my goalkeeper, I would have Courtney Brosnan, one of the Irish girls. So I think she's um, she's been brilliant for sure.
Defender, probably Millie Bright. I think um, she's um, very hard to get past in the league, so I would definitely rate her highly. Kim Little is a must. I think she's um, she's amazing. Since coming into the league, she's she's been um, unbelievable. Let's go two up top, because you know I'm a striker, eh? So Alessia Russo, she can bang in the goals. She's very good. And Bunny Shaw, baller, yeah. So 1-1 one, one at half-time then between Aston Villa and Leicester. Adriana Leon and Yuka Momiki with the goals. Two goals in five minutes. Aston Villa were not ahead for long. Mentioned in the first half, they won the reverse fixture last season. Five, uh, they won this fixture 5-0 last season. Ken Zadali on target, Rachel Daly scoring twice, Alicia Lehman with a brace as well. So Leicester, so far, putting up a better showing than they did in this fixture last season. Carla Ward has never dropped a point against Leicester as manager. will be the home side then Aston Villa who will get proceedings underway in the second half in the claret and blue attacking the goal away to our right Leicester in their third kit the yellow attacking the goal away to our left Leicester City defender Sophie Howard saying that we are giving away goals at the moment making life easy for opposition following that 3-2 uh, defeat to Brighton Made Aston Villa work for it, however, in this one so far. And that's uh, gifted possession and territory to the home side. Leon, scorer of the opening goal with some fancy footwork. She thought she was fouled by Rose, no free kick. Uh, another Canadian sign from Reading Patton across to Corsi Accepted. Can Leicester launch something on the counter? Mamiki, scorer of the equaliser, settles for the throw. Receives the throw to Villa.
Turner. Nobbs. Daly. Moritz. Howard gets there first and gets it clear. Lay on. A little bit of space. Salmon. Good touch from Ebony Salmon. Fizzed across the face of goal and behind for a corner. Sophie Howard doing her defensive duties. Six in the background, and there is plenty of traffic inside the Leicester box. Lehman gets there first, away from Bott. Bott get back, uh, gets back, puts it out for a throw. Too much of Moritz behind harmlessly for a goal kick. Decent start to the second half, though, by the home side. taking a break for international football next weekend and then the week after that Leicester take on Tottenham in the FA Cup semi-finals they're in North London twice in a row because after that they travel to Arsenal before taking on Manchester United at home so it's a tough run of fixtures that uh, Jennifer Foster and Stephen Kirby are inheriting. Tierney. Good ball forward. Rantala giving chase, but Turner is covering. The flag eventually goes up for offside. Jutta Rantala. Scored three in her last three. He chips it forward. Daly is outnumbered. Turner picks it up under a little bit of pressure from Grantala. Lehman takes it quickly, too quickly. pushing for what would be only their second home win of the season. Leon tries to take it in her stride. It falls kindly for the Canadian, who falls over. Fouls Green in the process. Free kick to Leicester. That's up, given away in a dangerous position. She gets away with it, Takarada. Oh, 
Salmon. That's a good ball. Moritz plays it off to Darley. Her shot is blocked. Came and prevents the corner. Peterman. Rose. That's nicely done by Leicester. They've played themselves into a decent position, an opportunity to launch an attack. They commit some yellow shirts forward into the box. Long range effort. Some way off target. Howard. Rose will give chase and she will get there as well. Good skill by Rose, puts it on a plate, still not cleared by Villa and blazed over. A really decent opportunity for the visitors. keep the ball on the deck looking to build from the back Rose wins it fairly and off she goes then she has her shirt pulled by Jordan Nobbs to learn a yellow for that the third Villa player into the book she joins Rachel Corsi and Alicia Lehman in Jane Sims' notebook. The upshot is a set piece for the visitors. Mamiki is over it, as is Rantala. They go for the in swinger or the out swinger. more of an angle for Rantala to work with. It's left for Moniki. It's a good ball in, it's a glancing header, and Leicester take the lead. Ten minutes into the second half and the comeback is complete. It was a lovely ball in. Captain Sam Tierney getting the congratulations. Well, it was a lovely ball in. The goal scorer in the first half, turning provider. And the deftest of touches from Sam Tierney to make it 2-1 to Leicester. Her fourth goal of the season. And now Leicester heading for their first win against Aston Villa in the WSL. given away in a dangerous position once again and a chance for Leicester to launch something with Momiki. Rantala unable to get on the end of it. Daly. Lehman to her left. Salmon to her right. This is Ebony Salmon. Force wide. will be a pretty decent platform for Leicester going into the big game against Tottenham. A 
Misha Cop. Rose, Moritz, for close comfort. Salmon with the foul. Suddenly there's a little bit of confidence and a swagger to Leicester City's play now. Turner out for a throw. Looking for Rose at the far post. Rose. Blocked and behind for a corner. comes to the near post. Take two. Sakurada offering the short option. Sophie Howard lurking at the far post. Momiki towards the near post. In it comes. And it's dropped in here by Leet, collected at the second time of asking. Villa preparing a couple of changes. Carla Ward ready to roll the dice with half an hour still to play. McGill and Pacheco are being readied. Rose. Takarada just behind Rantala as she pushed in the back. He was, according to Jane Sims, free kick to Leicester. They want to take it quickly. Piece then for Leicester. It's a lovely ball in. out by Cayman. Back to uh, Alicia Kopp. Leipzig is progressing well according to the Leicester City coaching staff as she continues her recovery from injury. German goalkeeper. 
Rose. Up against Moritz. Still going. Pull, but nothing too consequential. And she did really well to keep that in. Did Moritz, his lay on. Body check. Nope, not according to the referee. Seeming to be rather lenient on that occasion to the frustration of the home fans. a triple change for Aston Villa when there's a break in play. Mullet, Pacheco and McGill likely to come on. Salmon dispossessed, here's Tierney, scorer of the goal that separates the two sides. Appeals for offside. Black stays down against Rantala. Throw into Villa. And now Carla Ward can make those changes. Simone McGill coming on for Ebony Salmon. Alicia Lehman being replaced by Georgia Mullet. Daniel, Danielle Turner replaced by Mas Pacheco. Georgia Mullet coming on, just 18 years of age, made her first team debut 18 months ago, November 2022, at the age of just 16. This is her 10th appearance of the season in all competitions. McGill brought on to try and add some attacking power to this Aston Villa lineup. And 30 later this year, McGill been around for a long time now. Darley easily shrugged off the ball. Is Howard. up with this set piece. Towards the far post hook goalwards, well held by Kopp. She had to keep hold of that one as well. It's a crowded six yard area, Aston Villa shirt swarming all around her sticking to her gloves. Rose running at Moritz. I was taking a deflection. The leap was almost wrong footed.
This was the deflected shot. And Elite readjusting her feet. hadn't gone it is an Aston Villa free kick and they had taken it quickly Moritz to Leon Dali trying to find space for the shot Rose gets away from Daly to have something to defend now. Just one win in four in all competitions. Three without a win. Be a big boost to return to winning ways against their Midlands rivals. Still more than 20 minutes to play though. Plenty of time for Aston Villa to try and work their way back into this contest. But the more claret and blue shirts they commit forward, the more vulnerable they'll be on the counter. Oh, look at the space. Leon. Dali. Moritz. opportunity into the gloves of Cop. Aston Villa do have some long-term injuries Staniforth, Parker, Hansen are all missing. Daphne van Domslaar as well the goalkeeper out of the match day squad. So it is not a full strength Aston Villa squad. It's easily intercepted by Momiki. Tierney. Villa backpedalling. Peterman. It's a nasty collision. A head injury as well. The referee on it in a flash. Boss, it is. He's taking the knock. <laughs> well, as things stand, Nass and Villa heading for yet another defeat at the Bescott Stadium, their final match of the season at the Bescott Stadium. A tough trip to Chelsea next up for Aston Villa. And a home game against West Ham. Before a trip to Brighton on the south coast and then the final day of the season at home to Manchester City. Manchester City who are 
4-0 up at Liverpool in the other 12.30 kickoff. That will move them top. Chelsea not playing this weekend. Daly getting some strapping. She's had an issue with that right ankle in the first half. Rachel Daly. Here's Darley. Nobbs. Patton. Looks through the gap and then just asks too much of Darley. over the halfway line and finds Leon. Oh, Nobbs crosses it in and Daly on target. They're appealing for offside. The flag stays down and with 15 minutes to play Aston Villa a level, Rachel Daly makes it 2-2. She couldn't miss from there. Adriana Leon picked it up out wide. She found Nobbs, whose first time ball in found Daly. A poacher's finish. She found the space, she found the bottom corner. Leicester making a change with Julie Thibault coming on. Whelan also coming on for Peterman. Taylor coming on for Aston Villa. Taylor on loan from Liverpool. Jordan Nobbs, who has an assist, has a booking. Her work is done for the day. And Rachel Daly has now scored in all four of her WSL matches against Leicester. She loves playing against this opposition. And she has done it once again. And we're all square at 2 2. It's her 15th of the season in all competitions. Daly, she's dropped deep. Yeah. 
Rose hits the deck. Free kick given. Cayman. Yeah, 35 year old, the veteran, veteran Belgian. Champions League titles to her name. Four years at uh, Lyon. McGill twisting and turning. Worked it well between the lines. Leon. Patton, dispossessed, Leicester want the throw, Leicester get the throw, taking it quickly. Given away cheaply. Came in on the overlap, the ball doesn't reach her. Back with Anna Leet being closed down by Whelan. Into the final 10 minutes. Both sides will fancy their chances of snatching this one. Leicester will be keen to go into that cup semi final with a victory. In the bag, Aston Villa wanting to end their campaign at the Bescott Stadium with a victory. So both sides have incentive to go for it in the final ten. This stage of the season, the points somewhat academic. Neither side are qualifying for Europe. Neither side are likely to get relegated either. Just points and places up for grabs. Local bragging rights as well, perhaps. Well worked. They caught Villa napping. Chipped goalwards. So close to a third goal for Leicester. Takarada, I think it was, with the instinctive effort. Rose, running down a blind alley. to force backwards. Cop. Howard. A 
committing shirts forward here. Plenty of endeavour from Leicester. Can she keep that one in? It had gone behind. It will be a goal kick. Well, this was the chance a few moments ago from Saudi Takarada. Just trying to, I think, stand it up towards the far post, but so, so close to putting Leicester ahead once again. Pacheco. change for Leicester. Amelia Pelganda coming on. Replacing uh, Takarada. His last contribution was that effort a few moments ago. And uh, Missy Goodwin coming on as well. The young forward who signed from Aston Villa. Lining up against her. Well, starting just one game for Villa. That was in the Conti Cup a couple of years ago, so she is on against her former club, 21-year-old forward, Leon, strength, still going, just runs into Howard, it's just too big an ass to keep going, there were three yellow shirts blocking her path, it was Howard who won possession, So, who wants this one more in the final five minutes? Good win. Leon in space, looking to make things happen down that right flank towards Daly. Held by Kopp. A bit of urgency in the play. Cop sends Leicester on their way. Dali. Pacheco just overruns it. Palganda, the substitute. Good one, looks to take it quickly. Cayman. on but there was no one there no one gambled in a yellow shirt and now Aston Villa can come away with it Darley one of those surging runs that's going to be a yellow card cynical foul really Pearl Gander in the book Powerful surging runs from uh, Kenza Dali. Some problems again for Leicester. 2,182, the attendance inside the best for this one this afternoon. Will those, or the majority of those inside the stadium, end up going home happy if Villa can find a winner in the final two and a half minutes plus stoppage time?
a tired looking ball. Liverpool have pulled one back against Manchester City. Liverpool one, Manchester City four. That one ticks towards the 19 minute mark, as does this one. The only two WSL matches to be played today. And that's been won back, and Leicester have to get numbers back here because Aston Villa looking to commit forward. Leon just can't quite get on the end of it. She's been forced wide. Crosses from deep. This is too deep. McGill scampers across to try and keep it in. of the ball in that middle third. You can sense tired legs out there now. Leon with the low effort. Watched into her gloves by Leisha Kopp. Tick over the 90 minute mark, there'll be five minutes added on. Five minutes for either side to go in search of a winner. Sense that Adriana Leon is the outlet at the moment for Aston Villa. Has the shooting opportunity and it's well held again by Cop. Well, Aston Villa looked the more likely at the moment. Although they have been restricted to a, a long range effort there. Flag stays down. Daily, score of the equaliser. Pumped forward. Mullet giving chase. Daly, Pacheco. Patton. One back, in a decent position, but Leicester back in numbers. Off she goes again, one of those marauding, surging runs. Just a bit over eager. 
Krieger from Rachel Daly. space in which to play cross comes in Villa with defending to do still in the final dying stages Leicester want the free kick on the edge of the box not given Daly comes away with it into the final 60 seconds of stoppage time Pacheco McGill to her left hand side she's been forced wide oh and it's deflected behind for a corner Mullet with the ball in there will be one final chance for the home side. This will be one of the final kicks of the match. Leicester stand firm. Well, the points are shared in the Midlands derby. Aston Villa's final home game of the season at the Best Scott Stadium ends in a draw against Leicester. Adriana Leon put them ahead. Yuka Momiki equalised a few minutes later in the first half. Sam Tierney then put Leicester 2-1 up 11 minutes into the second period only for Rachel Daly to make it 2-2 with 13 minutes to play. Leicester, well they head off to their FA Cup semi-final at Tottenham in a fortnight having earned a point like their Midlands rivals. It is finished in this one Aston Villa 2 Leicester City 2 Let's just remind ourselves then of how the 90 minutes of drama unfolded. Rachel Daly had the first real effort. It was probably going off target, but Cott wasn't too sure. Alicia Lehman stood this one up to the far post. Cott was called into action again with a triple save. That's the second, that's the third. It was a bright start by Aston Villa at this point. And then they got their reward. After 25 minutes, when the Canadian Adriana Leon was lurking at the far post, there was nothing Cop could do about that one. But Aston Villa were not ahead for long because Leicester levelled just a matter of moments later. Yuka Momiki finding the bottom corner. 1 1. Leicester had the chance to go 2 1 up before half-time. Rantala though hitting the post. Into the second half. And Leicester did go 2-1 up, 11 minutes after the break. Sam Tierney with the glancing header finding the bottom corner. Leicester at this point were heading for their first victory against Aston Villa in the WSL. But Rachel Daly just loves scoring against Leicester. She did it again, her fourth goal in her fourth match against Leicester to earn a share of the points. 2-2 is how it finished in this one. Well, it means that Leicester have a week off international break and then it is the FA Cup semi-final at Tottenham. That is the focus of their attention right now. A big, big match for them as they look to reach the FA Cup final for the very first time in the club's history. That comes up in a fortnight's time. Aston Villa's home campaign at the Best Scott ends with a point. It's finished here. Aston Villa 2, Leicester City 2. From myself, Paul Scott and the whole team, thank you for watching. We will see you next time.